Hi, Steve here. Just a quick little demo of how SketchUp uses grouping, which includes both groups and components, to isolate geometry one, from, one bit from another, as opposed to layers, which, are you, which SketchUp uses for visibility only. For those of you coming from two-dimensional programs like AutoCAD and others, layers do not separate geometry. They are used for visibility only. This is going to be really simple just to indicate the concepts. We're going to start by making a very, just a box. Uh, push pulling it up to size. So there we've got a box. And I'm going to make a copy of the box using the Move tool and the Control key. And there we have two boxes. So far, so good, right? Well, then, what if I just notice that I've not yet done anything with either grouping or layers? Um, each of these, if you look at the entity info here, has 18 entities. Each one of these has um, 12 edges, four on top, four on the sides, four on the bottom, and six faces, top, back, left, right, uh, f top, bottom, left, right, front, and back. Same thing is true here. There's 18 entities. So now I'm going to choose one of these and using my move tool, this time without the control key, and I'm just going to move them one on top of each other. Say like that. Well, so far so good. Looks like I've got two boxes, one on top of each other. But I don't really, because if you look at everything here, you would expect if these really were two boxes, there'd be 36 entities. But there's only 31. That's because when I moved them and SketchUp saw that this edge, which is uh, both was the bottom left of the top box and the top left of the bottom box, SketchUp has combined them to be a single edge. Likewise for all of these edges in, that you can see in the middle. One, two, three, four. And though it doesn't show it, I'm going to hide this just so we can take a look. You'll see that it's actually got an internal face, but it's just one face. It's, it's shared between the two boxes, except they aren't really two boxes anymore. They're one box with an internal divider. So now let me, uh, I'm going to unhide the uh, face I hid. Whoops, edit, unhide all. And now I'm going to try to, um, to move that top box. Let's see, did I get, OK. So uh, selected everything that's involved in the top box, and uh, I can Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Um, selected everything in the top box. Then using the Move tool again, I'm going to grab it by that corner and try and move it down there. And whoops, you see what's happening with the bottom box? That's because it isn't two boxes anymore. I'm just going to escape so it doesn't move. So that's showing you that ungrouped geometry SketchUp tries to merge them. Uh, and in fact, in this case, it did successfully. So I'm going to start over and delete all of this and show you how you can use groupings to keep this from happening. Uh, let's see. Let's create a box again. Whoops. OK, we want to do it in a different orientation. Push, pull. There it is. OK. This time, before I try and make a copy of it, I am going to change it into a group. I could use a component, but this example is simple enough that it's not worth getting into the difference. I'll cover that in another video. Okay. So anyway, now when it's selected, notice that the entity info just says a solid group. Ignore the solid. That's important in other contexts. It's not here and that uh, it's, ju it's just one thing now. So now if I take it and copy it 
again using the move tool and the control key now I've got two groups it says here's one there's the other and uh, now if I take this one and move it one on top of the other there um, and then select everything it's now going to tell me that I've selected two groups not 31 entities or 36 entities um, but now I'm going to go back to just one of them and I'm going to try and move it off and you will see whoops that I was able to successfully do that and then I'm going to move it separate it and there we go now we have two separate groups uh, two separate boxes which we can still stack one on top of another or without their underlying geometries merging okay so that's how groups isolate well let's now talk about how layers are done for visibility purposes you'll notice so far I've been doing everything using layer 0 so for this demonstration I'm now going to add two layers I'm going to add the original whoops original box and I'm going to add the second box and you'll notice it still says everything is visible ignore this color right now in fact maybe I just ought to do that whoops won't let me do that um, well that's interesting <laughs> I've never seen that before Okay, that looks like a, an artifact. Uh, there we go. Won't let me hide the color. That's used for a feature called color by layer, which can be useful, but I'm not going to cover it now. Um, what's important is that these checkboxes control whether or not you can see things <coughs> that are assigned to that particular layer. So now I'm going to take the second box, and you'll notice up here it says it's in layer 0 here is where I'm going to actually assign it to the second box layer then I'm going to go and select the first box and I'm going to assign it to the original box layer now I can control where I see them by turning off the visibility check mark of these two layers and while this may seem trivial once you start getting a lot of things um, together like say for instance you're modeling a house in great detail and you might do um, you might assign all of your top plates bottom plates studs headers trimmer studs in a wall into a layer that is um, wall framing and then you might layer over that your internal sheathing and your outside sheathing and put those in their assign those to their respective boxes and then you can kind of peel away uh, the house as you go from the outside in so starting from an outside you could peel away the sheathing um, exposing the studs peel away the studs exposing the internal sheathing peel away the internal sheathing and now you're only going to see things that you've put inside the house conceptually um, without having to go through and hide and unhide each one individually.